Ty, we've talked a lot about toxicity and, and, uh, and how that compromises the immune system. Is that why we've seen such an increase in cancer over the last 25, 35, 50 years? I believe so. I believe it is because if you look back, say, 100 years ago, uh, at, the, at the turn of the, of the, what would that be, the 20th century? 1900 would be the 20th <laughs> century? I always get that mixed yeah. up. Okay, so at the turn of the 20th century, around 1900, it's, it's estimated that about 1 in 80 people had cancer, were diagnosed mm -hmm. with cancer. Okay. And now, so you know, 100 years later, fast forward, you have 1 and 2, 1 and 3. Well, it kind of shoots the holes in the genetic theory of cancer, that it's all in the genes, because mm -hmm. genes don't change in 100 years. But you had 1 in 80, 1 in 2, 1 in 3. So what's changed in 100 years to, to have this huge increase, you know, 100 and 100 fold increase in cancer? Well, our food habits have changed. Mm -hmm. You know, 100 years ago, grandma and grandpa lived out on the farm and they had their own cows and they, they weren't using pesticides and fungicides and insecticides. There wasn't the industrial revolution that's causing pollution to go everywhere. Mm -hmm. there, there wasn't the toxicity in the water. There wasn't the toxicity in the air. And you know, they didn't have the fast food restaurants to go to eat to. They, you know, they'd come in from work at the end of the day, and they'd have raw milk from the cow, uh, well water with good vitamins and minerals mm -hmm. in it. And even, so what, you know, they, they, they ate butter and real cheese and they almost never had heart attacks. And so you have this other, uh, on the per periphery of, of health with the, the cholesterol issue with heart attacks, and that could be a whole other show, but the cholesterol and the, the high fats with, with, the, with the natural fats, with, with butters and, mm -hmm. and cheeses, has very little to do with, with heart disease. Mm -hmm. That's another subject, though. <laughs> but so if, when you look back 100 years ago, that was their diets, yeah. fresh fruits and vegetables that they grew on their own farm. Mm -hmm. and. Now you see the typical American family, they hit McDonald's once a day or tw once every couple of days, and they're buying pesticide-laden food, and they're shopping, they've got all this microwaved food now. Mm -hmm. and the TV dinner's watching it in front of the TV, and they're nuking it. They don't call it nuking it for no reason at all. They call it nuking it because you're radiating the food. And when you radiate food, radiate a TV dinner in the microwave oven, you completely chemically change the makeup of that food. So now your body thinks the whole meal is a foreign invader because you're, you're, you're changing the chemical makeup of those foods mm. when, you, when you nuke it.